You asked for a chains showcase. You got it. You wanted a tier list video? Coming at you. In this video, we do both. And that begins in... 3, 2, 1... Welcome back to Bean Gaming. We're going to start off with the tier list today and have to give credit to Max because he's the one that put this together. So thank you, Max, for doing that. Saves everyone a bunch of time. And you can find this in the Discord for World Defenders. And what I really like that he did is he split up the Meta Infinite and Meta Classic. That means that there's the Infinite Mode towers that you want to try and go for, and then there's the Classic towers that you want to try and go for where you're playing the traditional Story Mode. So that's really cool. And notice that the towers are almost identical for both modes. You have Chains for both, you have God Kuma for both, you have Mutant and Dominus for both, Galaxia Dragon for both, Rage Claw for both, but the slight little difference is Web Widow versus Death Singer. You want Web Widow because those enemies in Infinite Mode are gonna get really, really, really tanky, if you will, and that's gonna become an issue. So Web's gonna be able to stun all of those enemies. Now, God Kuma, if you don't have God Kuma, then you can swap God Kuma out with Mr. Frost. That's a really good tower to use as well. God Kumas are kind of hard to find nowadays, so just keep that in mind. And of course, it all depends on the ranks that you have for all of your towers. Now, Chains, you're going to want Force of Nature. God Kuma, you want Eternal Glory. Galaxia Dragon, Eternal Glory. Mutant and Dominus, Force of Nature. Believe it or not, Force of Nature is actually better than Eternal Glory for Mutant and Dominus because Mutant and Dominus boosts itself. Rage Claw, Eternal Glory. Death Singer Eternal Glory, and I think I went over Galaxia Dragon already. Web Widow, you're going to want Lightning Speed. Now, you can swap out Terra Titan with Chains if you don't have Chains, if you can't find Chains in the Marketplace, and if you don't have the 650 Robux. Terra Titan is also really good. It's just that Chains is going to have more damage per second overall on tiers, well, the, the later tiers, tier 4 and 5, and especially there's 5 placements of Chains as well, so keep that in mind. So that's kind of it, all I wanted to go over for the tier list for today. So once again, make sure that if you see Max or in the Discord or whatever, that you thank him for this because I think he did a really nice job with that. So let's go back to World Defenders, the main lobby, and let's, uh, let's check out Chains now. Force of Nature is the best rank on Chains. Now you may think, well, if he's a starter, shouldn't we use Golden Might? Golden Might is good. But if you're going to try and do elite or nightmare modes, then you're going to want that range. That range really makes a difference. So just keep that in mind. And at tier 1, you can see that he's doing 52.5 for the range and 4800 for his damage every 4 seconds. And now when you go to tier 5, look how much that jumps up to. 42,000 damage every four seconds with a range of 75 that's huge that's a huge difference plus remember there's five placements for chains so that's an amazing starter to have some people ask me how did i level up to the plague skin so fast well i wanted to go over that with you today there's the base skin putrid bile and then plague skin and what you want to do is make sure you get the base skin first. I did have 60,000 coins. And when you have that amount of coins, you can actually go to the shop, in the XP shop, and if you have 3,000 coins, you can buy a 10,000 XP barrel to apply to your champion. And since I had 60,000 coins, I bought a whole bunch of these, and I leveled them up super, super quick. So you find it in your inventory, go to XP, and that's where it would show up. So that's what you want to do. I mean, that's essentially it. And then once you level them up a whole bunch of times, then you'll see the progression when you go to your champion skin. You want to click on my profile, go to champion, go select whatever champion you want. So in this case, we want the zombie warrior. And you'd see the progression. See how I'm all the way to level 100? When you apply that XP, then that's going to go ahead and add on all that XP, that 10,000 XP all the way through. So I'm at level 100. Now you can also get XP from playing regular games, but the fastest way is if you have these coins. And the Zombie Warrior actually gives a 10% boost to Spike. Now it gives a 10% boost to all your towers, but an additional 10% boost to Spike. So keep that in mind. Maybe I'll do a Spike Showcase sometime this week. I'm not so sure yet, but we'll kind of go from there. And now we're ready to hop on in game here and go from there. Here we go. So out of the three maps, we'll do them in order. We'll do Zombie Suburbia first. We're going to do all Nightmare Mode. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And I just want you to see how crazy 
that chains actually is. I want to put two in the front here. That way they can start to collect some money and then I'll put the remaining three in the back. And you'll watch and see how smoothly this goes. So one slice there, look at this. I can place the remaining three already and another slice gonna go ahead and upgrade. I'm just kind of spam clicking these chains and look, the first wave is already done. No enemies leaked, none at all. So let's go ahead and increase a little bit more. Look at that, look at that range, that AOE circle range. That's really good. And look at it, he's just gathering all that money. And look, now their enemies can't even get past the first two chains. Okay, that's that's actually crazy. Absolutely crazy. And I, once again, I gotta give credit to Max because he was the one that, that said, you gotta get chains. He's really, really good with force of nature. So we're gonna go ahead and completely upgrade all of our chains there. Look, these enemies aren't even getting to the second level here. That's, that's crazy. The first wave did, but now that I've upgraded my first couple chains in the front, it's no issue. Now, there are going to be enemies that are coming out from the sides. So, they're not there yet. I think it's on wave 5 where they do. So, I'm okay with upgrading and completely maxing out the first two chains. Now, I'm going to focus on the back here. And the next upgrade is 50,000. Oh, let me, re let me look at tier 1 here. So, tier 1 is 15,000 to upgrade. All right, the next wave is up, so let's go ahead and do a couple upgrades. And now the enemies are coming out of the second level here, the second path. And once again, I'm just spam clicking, but no enemies are getting through. Now, wave six, you have to be careful because you can't technically use chains to wipe out this big enemy that's coming on through. He has a lot of health, and so now is the time when you want to put down, let's say, like a Death Singer or a really good DPS tower. See how he's coming through? I don't have, I'm, and he's, he only leaks 10, so I'm not overly concerned about that. You, I could put down my Galaxia Dragon at this time if I wanted to, and it's just the Zombie Drooler just has so much health to him, but with the leak damage of only 10, it's not even that big of a deal. So let's put down, we're going to put down our Mutant Indominus, that way you can see what the actual boost does. But all these chains are completely maxed out, and it didn't take very long to get that done anyway. So Mutant Indominus, here we go. We're going to upgrade him, and the upgrade shouldn't take that long. I'll put him on Strongest for now, that way he can target, although he doesn't do a whole bunch of damage. That's where, like I said, you really want to get your Death Singer or Galaxia Dragon on down. But look at that, 73,000. We're not even, we didn't even max out our Mutant Indominus yet. He takes 500. There we go. 500 and now there's a couple more of those zombies and might not be a bad idea to put down a galaxia dragon just so i can finish up this part of the video but i do want to share with you what the max what the max chains does with with mutant and dominus completely boosted so take a look at that 76,000. i mean that's that's crazy 76,440 with a range of 75 like look at that that's completely crazy. And then there's five of them. And remember, they're doing all that damage to any enemy or all the enemies that are with inside that AOE ring. It's the AOE ring of death. That's what it really is. All right, so now that we've taken a look at this, let's hop on into the second map. Concrete Crypt. This is the longest map out of all three maps. When I say longest, I mean time-wise. It takes the longest to complete this one. Even though there's, what is there, 15 waves still, I believe? Yeah, all the maps are 15 waves if I'm not mistaken, but this one does take the longest. And so once again, I put my two chains in front, I put the three in the back, and because there's more enemies coming out, that means that I'm going to actually be able to upgrade a little bit quicker. Now one of those spheres are going to be able to get through, and it doesn't matter because the leak damage is only 10 again. So I'm not overly concerned about one or two of these enemies getting on by. And whenever you upgrade your chains, then you're going to upgrade his damage. And the more damage means the more money that you're going to get. So now look at that. We're just completely just slicing and dicing. And I'm not going to have any issues at all. Now, AoE is really good for the beginning. But you want to keep in mind that when those higher health enemies come through, you really need a strong DPS tower in order to help out. But let's see if we can max out these chains in the front here. We're almost there. It's 150 to max. Let's see, we're gonna go ahead, yeah, okay, we got we got the, that guy that almost went through, and now I just have one more level to the two chains in the front, and then we should be sitting pretty. Look at that, they just, with their chainsaws, and what's really cool is if you zoom on in, you can hear the chainsaw actually buzzing, and I think that's a really cool detail that they put into that particular tower. 
All right, 150, we should be able to get there relatively quick. There we are. So I can fully upgrade my chains now and we're gonna be good to go. I think I upgraded all of them. I have a little bit of difficulty sometimes seeing if these guys are maxed out or not, but I think they are. There we go, yep, so we're all good to go now. And here's the part where you can put down a nice DPS tower or, you know what, let me let me take a look and see if we can put down some Frost. I think Frost would be a good idea here just because his damage is a lot more than Chain. So we'll put the three Amigos in a row there and we'll go ahead and upgrade him and that way we're going to be in a much better spot. But again, you just have to know what enemies are coming out. So we can see these two zombies that are coming out right now, they have a lot of health to them. So probably a single target DPS, the zombie drool, there's a single target DPS tower would have been a, probably a better idea. But either way, you get the idea and I'll leave it up to you as to how you want to finish this map. So let's go ahead on into the third map and go from there and finish this up. For my third and final magic trick, we're going to do Cargo Carnage. And the thing with this map is that they introduce a brand new enemy and that enemy has a ton of health and there's a lot of enemies that come out right from the get-go. So I want to put my spike towards the front, two in the front, and then three in the back like normal, like I've been doing for the other maps. And just because of the amount of enemies that are coming out, one swipe is going to give me enough money to place down the remaining three. And I'm going to upgrade super fast and look at this, my spikes in the back are already leveled up enough where no enemies even leak and that's crazy another thing about this map is that you really do want to use web widow he's not necessary depending on the towers that you have but i find that it's very helpful to have web widow you can swap him out with death singer but the more levels that you increase on this on this third map here then you're i think you really should use web widow if you have him at all if you don't have web widow then get medusa because you definitely need a stopping tower. So look at this, we're already, we already have our, we have all of our chains upgraded already. Well, the front, the two in the front we do, and then we have a couple more in the back, but just with the amount of health these enemies have, look at that, one swipe, two swipes, and we should be good to go, and one more. And I think we're gonna let those three go on by because once again, they're only doing a damage of 10, not a big deal. Now is a good time to put down our three web widows. And I find the three web widows, look where I'm putting them, right behind that reddish orangish bin there, that cargo container, and he's gonna be able to stop. And that allows your, whatever AOE towers you're using right now, and of course we're doing chains, gonna allow them to just keep on going after any particular enemies that come on by. So look at this. One more upgrade for, for Web Widow, 250, there we go. Now I can put down some my Mr. Frost, and my Mr. Frost, I just line up right behind my Web Widows there, and I can max them out relatively quick because Mr. Frost does a really nice amount of damage. And so look at all of those all of those zombie slayers that are, are those zombie slayers or slushies? Or I, I, I can't remember their names, but they're just, getting all zombie slasher that's who they are they're just getting all attacked by mr frost and then of course chains so look at this this is pretty cool and now it's not a bad idea to put down our rage claw and rage claw is just completely insane with his damage per second when you and look at that huge circle it does 120 for our rage claw so that way he's really knocking out these zombie slashers when they have 2.4 million health but we need our rage claw now is a good time to put down galaxia dragon and now nothing is going to even get on by completely insane and now we'll, when we put down our mutant indominus look at this we're going to max him out so all of our towers now are getting a 30 percent boost i mean it's just completely insane. If you don't have a Mutant Indominus, you want to try and get one. And I'm hoping that maybe for this next event that's coming out on this coming Friday, that maybe are they going to introduce a newer boost tower? I don't know. I mean, 30% seems pretty and pretty intense, pretty good, because otherwise you need an Orc Tower. So make sure you either, if you don't have Mutant Indominus, you can get an Orc Tower at the Orc Chest. So that's really good. And even though the Orc Tower is not the best, Mutant Indominus is way better, it's still some kind of boost. And I haven't used the Orc Tower in so long, I forgot what kind of boost it does. Maybe it's a 20% boost, but still, any boost is really helpful. Okay, let's go ahead and finish this on up, and then we're going to go back to the main lobby. Here we go. And before we say our goodbyes, I just want to thank everyone for all the support and the comments. We are almost at 4,000 subs. I can't believe it. That's completely insane. I feel like I'm on top of the world. 
Okay, do you see what I did there? Anyway, thank you so much. If you did like this video, please consider subscribing. I'm going to do more World Defenders videos. We have a gigantic update coming out this Friday. We have a how the house gigantic update coming out this Friday. I'm hoping that they don't update at the same time cuz maybe we're going to do a live this Friday. Not a bad idea. But either way, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching everyone. Hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.